Today we are going to see the poem The Frog and the Nightingale written by Vikram Seth. So the poem lines are like this. Once upon a time a frog crocked away in Bengal Bog. Every night from dusk to dawn he crocked on and on and on. So the first stanza it is written like this. Once upon a time means long long ago once upon a time there used to be a frog. And what this frog used to do, this frog, it used to crock. What is the meaning of the word crock? Crocked. Crocked means gave out sound. So once upon a time, a frog used to crock. Crocked means gave out a sound. Away in Bingil Bog. So where it used to? Crack, it used to crack in a bingil bog. What is the meaning of the word bog? Bog is a place which is referred here and it is a wet and muddy area. It is a wet and a muddy area. So the frog used to crop in a wet and a muddy area. Every night from dusk to dawn, he crocked on and on and on. So, how much long this cro uh, frog used to croc? It used to croc from dawn to dusk. So, dusk to dawn. What is dawn to dusk and dusk to dawn here? Dawn means sunrise. Dusk means sunset. So, the frog used to croc from dusk to dawn. Means throughout the night used to, used to make some sounds he crocked how it it used to go on and on and on here the poet used the word on a w and on why the poet used this to replace a word dusk see the meaning is also given on misspelled and mispronounced so that it rhymes with dawn till dawn it used to go on sounding like that now coming to the next stanza other creatures loved his voice, but alas, they had no choice. So, other creatures. So, in the first stanza, we have already heard that the frog used to make some sounds. But no description is given what type of sounds, how the frog used to sing. But now coming to the second stanza. In a forest, in a place where the animals live, not only frog, the other animals are also, they also live there. So, how they used to feel the other animals when the frog is uh, shouting like this, when the frog is singing like this, making different types of sound, they used to loth. What is the meaning of the word loth? They used to hate the sound. They used to hate the sound. Other creatures means other animals. Loth means hated his voice. Means the voice of the frog. But alas, they had no choice. But of course, they don't like it. But still, they don't have any other choice. Throughout the night, they have to bear this pain. They have to listen to that horrible sound made by the frog. And the crass cacophony blade out from the sumac tree at whose foot the frog each night minstreled on till morning night so here and the crass means crass means stupid the, what is the meaning of the word crass means stupid cacophony so cacophony means a, a very loud and Unpleasant voice. Unpleasant noise. See here, other creatures hated the voice. They loved the, the vo his voice. But alas, they had no choice. Even if they don't like, they don't have any other choice there. And the crass cacophony. So, the stupid and very loud and unpleasant voice. This is the line which is indicating the sounds made by the frog. 
blade out from the sumac tree so from where these sounds are coming out they they were blade out means sang loudly these songs were being sung from a place named from a tree named sumac tree sumac means it is a small shrub type tree small tree where the leaves are used for dyeing and all so from such a tree the loud voice is coming and this voice is made by the frog which is not at all liked by the remaining creatures what all lives there Minst minstrel on till morning night so how long this used to go on minstrel means this used to the sang means the song used to be sung till the morning from night till morning the sound used to come neither stones nor prayers nor sticks insults or complaints or bricks still to the frog's determination to display its arts elation neither stones nor prayers nor sticks insults or complaints or bricks still the frog's determination to display his arts elation so so many ways the creatures have tried but there is no use whatever they they have tried they couldn't silence means they couldn't keep the frog remain silent so because the frog's determination means the will power of the frog is so keen that the frog is not remaining calm so many creatures cursed him they told him everything that the voice is not good but even then they couldn't control the frog they couldn't stop the frog making out of such a horrible noise and to display his hearts display means to show the frogs hearts elation elation means great joy so the frog here elation means great joy so the they, no one couldn't stop the frog enjoying its joyfulness the greatest joyfulness so the frog is very happy in singing like that and no one could stop it but one night a nightingale in the moonlight cold and pale perched upon the sumac tree casting forth her melody dumbstruck sat the gaping frog so here one day what happened the same thing is repeating for so many days for a long in a period of time but one day something strange happened one nightingale has come there so sitting on that sumac tree started singing in a melodious voice that all the creatures got attracted towards the voice such a beautiful and such a sweet voice the nightingale was singing so here but one night a nightingale one night a nightingale has come there in the moonlight cold and play, pale so it is uh, a night time it is so cool outside in the moonlight the nightingale started singing perched perched means sat upon the sumac tree the nightingale came and sat on the sumac tree casting forth the melody means casting forth means started singing in so melodious music dumbstruck sat the gaping frog dumbstruck means completely taken aback even the frog is also got shocked listening to such a wonderful melodious music dumbstruck means just taking a back and sat the gaping frog gaping means opening its mouth open ah like that so gaping looking at the nightingale the frog sat there itself and the whole admiring bog straight towards the sumac rapt and when she had ended clapped ducks and swam and heron swayed to her as such she surrendered so means she sang the nightingale sang very beautifully that all the animals what are there nearby birds every animal has come there and they were listening to the music the music is so melodious and all got lost their senses they were they just surrendered their ears to the nightingale to listen to such a melodious voice all the animals they did not say anything this time they are not feeling bad because these many days they were uh, bearing the torture of frogs noise but now all of a sudden when they are listening to such a wonderful sound all lost themselves in the music of the nightingale and they all they have all come close to the sumac tree and they started listening to the music of the nightingale so the nightingale is singing so melodiously 
here and a solitary loon wept beneath the summer moon tots and trails and tiddlers captured by her voice cheat on entrapped bravo to define and core so here different types of animals got referred here like so a loon a loon means it's a large water bird a loon is a large water bird which has come there to listen to the melodious music wet beneath the summer moon tots and tails tails means a small duck a small duck and tiddlers captured by her voice cheat on entrapped and raptured filled with fantastic fascinating filled with fascination and delight so the animals what all have come there they are so fascinated and they got so delighted with the voice of the nightingale different types of animals like a water bird which is given here and also a small duck and the other animals what all have come there got delighted they were they were feeling so fantastic listening to that such melodious music and bravo to divine and core so what finally when this um, nightingale is singing they are making some they are giving some uh, comments they are praising the nightingale how nice it is even the song is like a divine and they were also asking uh, the nightingale to sing some more see here the word and core so and core is the word which gives the meaning sing some more so the nightingale was asked to sing some more continuously all the animals what all have come there what all have listening to the music of the nightingale praising the nightingale like anything and still requesting the nightingale to sing some more to continue the song so the nightingale once more quite unused to such applause so nightingale once more so after listening to that previously it is not used to such an applause it is totally unused to such a applause means praising so listening to that praising sang till dawn without a pause means without stopping the song it just continued till dawn till the morning next night when the nightingale shook her head and twitched her tail closed an eye and fluttered a wing and had cleared her throat to sing she was startled by a croak sorry was that you who spoke she inquired when the frog hopped towards her from the bog so that day all enjoyed the music till morning the nightingale was singing such a melodious song without any break everything went on well the next day again one more day passed the next night when the this nightingale is getting ready so fl flipping its uh, feathers and all when it's getting ready it heard some voice and inquired from the frog is it that who spoke to him and the frog hopped near the nightingale from the bog yes the frog replied you see i am the frog who owns this tree in this bog i have long been known for my splendid baritone and of course i wield my pen for bog trumpet now and then did you did you like my song so the frog came near to the nightingale and was telling that i am the owner of this tree and the frog also addressed himself as if it is a baritone what is the meaning of the word baritone baritone means it's a male voice a male singer a male singing voice fairly deep fairly deep 
so already as the nightingale so the frog listened to the song of the nightingale now frog came near to the nightingale to introduce himself the frog introduced to the nightingale telling that he is the owner of the uh, tree that sumac tree and he is also telling that he is a singer and of course i will so the frog also told that i used to sing for all of them and all so listening to that nightingale posed a question nightingale is asking like this to the frog what is it asking did you did you like my song so the nightingale asked the frog whether he liked her song or not not too bad so frog see here you can understand that the feeling or the way the frog is responding to the nightingale the nightingale is responding the frog is responding towards the nightingale not too bad so the frog is just telling it is not so bad it's okay but far too long it's okay but you were singing for a long time it's so lengthy so the song is so long the technique was fine of course even though the song is so lengthy the technique means the method what you have used is okay the frog see you can see a sort of uh, ego feeling frog is also singing but never frog had seen such a good response used response from the creatures what all staying there because no other creature likes the way the frog sings they all hate the voice of the frog but when the nightingale is singing all are praising applauding her a lot so by requesting her to sing more time and all are all have come close to the nightingale and they were listening to the song so it's a sort of ego we can see here because of this thing the frog so the frog is not directly praising the nightingale it is just telling okay the sound is okay but the song is so lengthy but still the technique is good what you have used is the response given by the frog if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus